Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about logging in Canalizer 16. So, the first thing what we are going to learn is how you can save the messages received in your trace window into a log file. And the second thing what we are going to learn is how you can replay a log file using replay block in online and offline mode. So, the first thing what we should do after starting our Canalizer 16 is we should add our database in our database configuration. That is this icon and we should add the database in the channel which we are using so i'll just right click on the channel i'm using and i'll add the database so once our database is added you can see the name of the messages from the database which we are receiving on a can and the type of the signal which that message contains and the value of the signals so if you don't add the database you will not be able to see the messages the name of the messages and the signals that contains but that is fine uh, even if you don't add the database uh, we will still be able to log the uh, can messages trace window so to log or to save the trace window into a log file we should go to the measurement setup that is the first option here and you will see this kind of window here that is online offline uh, switch is here so we can only we can save the log when the mode is in online that is when the actual CAN device is connected to our CAN tool and we can also save the log when the device is not connected to our CAN tool that is offline mode just by double click on double clicking on this block we can switch the mode from online to offline so let's consider that mode is in online mode and we have the device connected to our CAN tool so that device can be anything that is cluster or infotainment system or some other device of your use so let's say we are in online mode and we are we have started our can by using this thunderbolt and we are able to see the trace window having some messages received and since we have added our database we'll be seeing all the name of the messages what we are receiving so since we want to save this trace window into a log file we will be seeing this logging block here which is not active currently so we, we have to make it active and once this block is active we we can save the trace window into this log file so i'll just right click on this block and i will be configuring the logging file configuration and here you can give a feed code and where the destination folder of the log, log file should be saved so i'll be giving any random destination but you can give your selected destination and the file format can be blf or ascii or mdf or whatever file format you want to choose you can choose it so I'll be selecting ASCII and I'll say ok all the other settings I'll keep it as default so you can only enable this logging block when the can is not running and it is at a stop condition so you can stop the can if it is running and then you can enable this block and you can configure the logging block and then once you start the can all the messages received in your trace window will be saved in this logging file and after you stop the can you will be you can open this logging file and see the messages which were logged in that file so this is how you can log the trace window into a logging file so what if you wanted to run a log file which you already have so there are two ways how you can replay a log file so that is online and offline so if you want to run a log file into online mode then your device should be connected to your can tool that is uh, the device can be of any type like clusters or infotainment in automotive system or it can be something other uh, of your choice so to run the log in a online mode or to replay the log in online mode you should click on this block just above the send button just right click on this block and insert a replay block can so if you want to replay the log of lin or most or flexray you can do it but i'll be just saying telling you how you can replay the block of can so since we are having a log file of can uh, we are selecting the replay block of can so here you will see the r replay block is added here just right click on it configure and select the log file which you want to replay in online mode so i am having this log file which is a sample log file 
so i'll be selecting this log file i'll just open it and i'll keep all the settings as default that is output mode is standard start timing condition is immediately and start option is start replay on measurement start and you can also assign a key to start and stop the log file and pause and resume the log file so i'll just say okay and whenever i start the can using this thunderbolt this all the messages from this log will be sent to your device that is your node device which is connected to your can tool and you will be saying the messages in the trace window uh, so this is how you can run a log file in online mode if you are not connected to your can tool uh, with your can device and still you want to run the log and see what messages you have received on analyze the log then you can use offline mode so to go into offline mode you just have to double click on it the switch it, it will go into offline mode and then you will see this offline mode file path that is just right click click on this and select the offline file list so here you can add uh, multiple number of files in offline mode so i'll be selecting the log file which we have so that is this one so here also you can select any number of log file any type of log file that is asc or plf or mdf and you can select multiple number of log files so i'll just open this particular log file and i'll just close it close this window so once you start the can using this thunderbolt you will see all the messages in your trace window and you can also add messages in graphics uh, to analyze that and this is how you can replay a log file in offline mode so that's all about this video and thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos